Okay, so hopefully I'm in focus. I've been... <laughs> this YouTube thing is weird. It's still weird. <laughs> so I've been studying Dave Greco's videos for the entire month and it's been great. I feel that I'm at this point now where I'm actually able to just paint really appealing looking portraits. Uh, before in the past, when I first started doing portraits, my portraits were all bad. And um, it just pointed out a lot of things for me that I need to start studying and understanding just for myself. And just at the entire time of me trying to record my day-to-day -day and like progress reports and stuff like that, I just fell off the deep end and like I just totally forgot about it. Um, not even that I forgot about it, it's just that I, if it just felt like I didn't have enough time in a day to record everything that I wanted to record, but I do have a lot of footage, not everything. I probably have like half a month of footage and everything else is just results from the end of the week. And, uh, you can see me practice his tutorials in my Twitch streams. So if you guys are really interested in that, it's actually a really good time because I'm been having discord streams and soon I'm about to have interviews more on my discord streams which I will be posting on to YouTube but I've been practicing my portraits and they're getting better and better at every attempt that I make week one I just practice doing blending just trying to understand how to blend better on Photoshop and not have it be so messy and choppy and just um, <laughs> I just want these like smooth transitions that that was like my biggest goal and by doing the blending challenge I figured out there were a lot of things that I have been learning while doing blending as in color theory what colors work with each other color harmony um, checking my values making sure that I have a nice transition of these uh, these gradients and it helps so much when doing these blending uh, the blending stuff like I did it for a straight week I advise everyone I mean everyone if you're trying to up your painting game or your digital uh, art skills in some type of way check out Dave Greco's uh, YouTube channel I gave him the big GG stamp of approval he is good it is good 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 I really appreciate it um, I have never been like this happy and, and, and feeling that normally like whenever I would do anything artistically, I, I just tend not to like anything that I do, even though for the mass majority of people, it looks really cool. I'm really good and stuff like that. I just, eh, it's all right. You know, I still want to get better. And by following Dave Greco's, Dave Greco's tutorials, I was actually able to just kind of fill in that little empty spot where my heart used to be for my craft. <laughs> Uh, week two, I did hair. Hair was the hardest one. I felt like my approach for doing hair was incredibly wrong. Instead of just practicing how to paint hair every day, I should have just did a master study on the colors that he picked and spend more time on it. it. Makes sense for the fact that instead of doing it as an everyday thing, as like every day I'm gonna draw like a new set of hair and, and paint that hair or like go back at it again. Following back, Dave Greco says it takes him about eight hours to finish his hair. Normally it would probably take him six or sometimes shorter than six, but it took him eight hours. So it was really unrealistic of me to try to fit eight hours of work into a two hour study to understand and get hair down right. It just wasn't very fair. So I just used my day three, four, five, and so on just to finish trying to get the colors that he got right for his character, uh, for his illustration. So uh, I started to change up in that way. And this is where I feel like I messed up a lot with this <laughs> this 30 day artist challenge study thing is that um, I picked four topics because it was four weeks in the month. I threw up eight you know, here, but like I, I picked four, four topics. I picked blending, um, eyes, hair, and skin. The order that I went about it was blending because that was like the most important thing to me at the time. Um, hair, because I struggle with hair, that's like the, my biggest thing. Skin, and then eyes. 
I should have put eyes somewhere in between that set because I was able to really get really far with painting skin and get skin down and all that stuff. But I didn't know how to paint eyes very well. I just thought like if I can draw the eyes, I'm probably going to be okay with painting the face and stuff like that. But not all the other features that come with the eyes like some of the shadows between the eyes and, the, uh, and the, in your in your eyebrows. Uh, or where your your skull sinks in your your eye socket, you know there are planes on the face, and I didn't understand the the way how it sinks in and how you can like paint that look. I'm doing a hard. I'm trying to explain this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I tried and tried day after day, day after day, and. Um, I tried to do my best to like get as much <laughs> done. Uh, I was able to complete as much as everything as possible. Uh, on the last week, week four, I did eyes. Eyes would have to be like, I would say, the, the second thing most boring to doing just, just blending for two hours. Drawing eyes for two hours, I, I was only able to do three days of it. And I did not complete the other two. And that is okay. That is okay. If you don't match up to how much work you're trying to do every day, it is okay that you fall back a day or two. Something could happen or you're just really exhausted, you're really tired. Take your break. It's totally fine. Your brain might scream at you because our brains are routine oriented. And whenever we don't do something, it like nags at us. But it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. You be good. <laughs> Just want to let you guys know that. So, um, I added all this stuff together, all his tutorials and stuff used to make to just to make like a, a, a clean portrait of something. And I ended up with this. I unfortunately don't have like a speed art video of this, but I'm sure you can just catch my Twitch stream. It's at Gig Gig Millhouse you know same name everywhere you can find me everywhere <laughs> with that same name even on etsy fiverr anywhere else i trademarked that name i got that name <laughs> all right so you can follow you can find that video on twitch the stream and um it's actually a really good stream <laughs> i want to stress that out <laughs> and if you guys like the stream if you guys like my content give me a follow sub if you like leave a comment tell me what you guys want to see but next month, I will be going after another artist, and I'm actually really excited. His name is Cox. It's C-O-A-X. <laughs> um, he is, um, I, I cannot even, I don't even know. He's, he's an Asian artist. He does not speak English. He does from time to time, but like maybe, like maybe in like a few words or sentences or whatever. I really want to push my art game to a whole new level. But this is gonna be even harder than last time because it's a lot of me reading the translations instead of just hearing it in English and just like, okay, yeah, I got it. So I have to do a lot of stop and go to actually follow along with his tutorials. So hopefully it goes well. That'll be it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching, thank you for all the love that I've been getting so far on Instagram and all the other platforms. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. And if you're new here to my channel, I'm just a guy who's trying to make a hundred bad videos. But the hundred bad videos are all in good intentions for me to help somebody. So I want actually want to put my 100% all into everything that I'm doing. And I know sometimes, I know in my videos, they can probably seem kind of lazy or... Uh, I could have done some more improvements here and there, even in like artwork or anything else, but it takes time to get better at these things. And this is something that I want to get better at. I want to be able to speak better. <laughs> I want to be able to convey my thoughts and have it be, you know, understood very easily. It's really hard as an introvert. And yes, I am an introvert. <laughs> I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert since day one, so quarantine is nothing to me. But 
uh, it's kind of hard from uh, someone that's like introverted to speak up and talk and like you know just throw themselves out there to the world so people can just you know get familiarized with me or just anything like that uh, a lot of tension on yourself and it's, it's a lot of anxiety to that sometimes but I'm just trying to do my best and I'm hopefully I can just get better over time so let me know how I'm doing in the comment section yeah but if you guys like this video give it a like comment subscribe all that stuff that other YouTube other youtubers be saying but uh, I'll see you guys on the next video thank you guys for watching and go follow Dave Greco his tutorials are really good I support you guys have a goodie